I'm going to show you how I find profitable products for Amazon dropshipping and right now the main software that I'm using for that is Keepa and you might have heard of Keepa but you might not have heard of the Keepa data features and what I'm going to do is go ahead and show you a product right off the bat that I found with the product uh, finder on Keepa and right away when I source the product I see that this product is already a profitable product right 155.54 on Walmart this is sold and shipped by Walmart free delivery and it is 285 now even without calculating I already know that this is a profitable product and I did calculate it before but even without calculating I can just see that this is profitable based on this price difference now how I came up with this list of products is that I used keep us product finder and I actually have a training where I show you in more detail what filters to actually use to pull up a product list like this and what I do is I do the list based on a brand so in this case I chose the brand signature design by Ashley and not every brand is going to be as profitable as the other brand but that's the whole idea that you can pull up many products of that same brand and you can take a look at them and see if they're profitable right away so um, that is really the power of using the software now another thing that I do is I actually export the product list from the software into a CSV and that's where my Excel system comes in so here's the CSV file for this very same product list and as you can see the CSV file is a very large file there are a lot of columns and there's a lot of data in here and this is not something that's going to be easy to work with so what I did is I created an Excel system where you bring the CSV data into the Excel system and then the Excel system automatically creates a very nice um, user-friendly filter based on that data and here's the filter here's how it looks you can see all the different data that you need inside of this filter stars reviews rank um, you've got ASINs titles I mean all kinds of stuff the barcodes the model number the price everything pretty much that you need the product group categories everything alright um, even the brand because you could even have multiple brands possibly depending on how you do your filters so that is basically what this does and then finally what I do once I get it into Excel is I actually also created a Google Sheet so that if you want to source inside of the browser it's even easier to do for instance I'll just show you one quick example right the same product and once I source the product as I just did it's 155.54 right I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this link and put it in here and I'm gonna say one share for 155.54 and I already have the Amazon price over here and now I know the profit and even with a worst case tax of 10 percent I see that this product is a 41.63 percent ROI Now I'm not saying the ROI is always going to be this high but this one is particularly high in this case but um, it is possible to find products with such a high ROI if you're really clearing out and filtering down only to certain products so that you are not wasting time with the wrong products so this is pretty much the method All right now that's a very general overview of the method I didn't really show the details um, of actually pulling this list of products and exporting it to Excel and all that because that's done completely inside of a free training that I've provided or that I've created um, and set up under my under another uh, course platform and what I want you to do is actually follow a link in the description of this video and go check out that training and uh, the keep a part of the training is completely free and um, I'm showing you how I start with the brands and I research the brands I show you how I do the filters on Keepa and then how I export it to my Excel system and everything so you really should go ahead and check the training if you're interested in the details of how this actually works but um, again it really depends on the brand that you choose so you're going to have to go through different brands and really try them and get different results and find a brand that is good and gives you profitable products this is just one example of that and if you have any comments questions or further suggestions or anything about this uh, product research for Amazon dropshipping or Amazon dropshipping in general you can just leave them below or you can respond to me by email Mr. Mark for Excel for dropshipping and I hope to see you in on the training that I've provided for product research